Hello ladies, so today I have Arista back for you, and this is what we have so far. Mm, very glittery, that did, uh, there we go, there we go. Shebang. So again, there's a lot of excess that I need to cut off, as you can see here. But the back doesn't matter, just the front. So, we are gonna... Take our handy dandy trusty super sharp scissors and snip her up. So I like starting from this side just because it's easier. Gonna take this part and snip, snip, snip. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to work for you. So whatever works for you, that's how you make it work. Snipper, snipper, snipper. So then we have the finished tail and the side, and she's looking so great. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. This is going to be great. Gosh, so here we go. There it is. And I definitely like the effect the Mod Podge gave the ribbon. I mean, here, I'm gonna give you a closer look. And I used the Mod Podge um, gloss. So you could see the glossiness and the glossy accent it gives the tail or the the fabric oh my gosh i'm so happy with these and we did have a little bit of bleeding with this glitter but it's okay it bled on the tail and the paper itself was red anyway so it doesn't really it didn't affect it too much so here we go ladies that is our mermaid tail let me just take this and move it so it's not all up in this shot. There we go. And once again, we're going to take our white paper here so you guys can really get a good look. I don't think my background does it justice. But now you could really see the sparkles. And we still have some stubborn glitter right here, but I'll just get to that. See, it was bugging me, I'm sorry. <laughs> so there you go, there's Arista all done for you. She's so beautiful, oh my gosh. And again, I might take some of these, because um, I have a lot of this, and just make it into like waves. Put it down on the paper, what have you, and then have her diving into there. You know, that would be so cute. 
So you could dive into your swap. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Hopefully, I already have four mermaid tails done. So, we shall see. I think it'll be a possibility to do the actual bodies and everything. I'm still trying to figure out how to do King Triton because he's a merman. You know, he's my only merman. And I think these are really cutesy, but I need like a man merman tail. Um, so I'm going to have to figure that out. If you guys have any ideas on what you would do for a merman's ta tail, um, you guys can let me know in the comments down below what you think, what you would do, um, any ideas that you have, um, what you guys want to see next, whatever. It's all great feedback. I love it all. So thanks for watching. I hope to see your comments down below and we shall talk next time. Bye.